In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Gemini's latest model 2.5, OpenAI's vector store feature, and PyAirbyte, Airbyte's pipeline as a code Python library, to create an MCP server in cursor that will generate your entire data integration pipeline for you without writing any code. Let's just jump straight in. To start, we want our MCP server to know as much as possible about Pi Airbyte coding practices, and really importantly, the Airbyte Connector catalog. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the text of resources and save them to files in my project. And why this is important, because it gives the context. I'm gonna grab a few things here, and I've already saved them locally, but one of the things that I wanna know is I wanna give Gemini as much context about Pi Airbyte. So I'm gonna copy all of these docs, save them as a text file, and I'm gonna store this inside the vector store. I'm also gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the secrets file, because secrets are a really important way for Pi Airbyte to understand connector catalog secrets. So for instance, if I'm connecting to Postgres or Snowflake, I need to pass in a certain amount of information for it to actually do that authentication and connect. Secrets is the way that we do it, obviously, with inside Pi Airbyte. But I'm also gonna add a few things like some quick start guides and some docs, in particular, a really simple sample application. I'll go and save all of this information, put it to a text file, and then I'm gonna load that into the vector store. So to give you an idea what that looks like, I've already gone ahead and saved those files. Now, I've jumped over into OpenAI, and OpenAI has this great new vector stores. It launched a few weeks ago and I was playing around with it. It's very quick, very lightweight and really easy. You can see on the right hand side here, I already have one created, but if I go ahead and create a new vector store, you'll see how quick this is. I'm just gonna call it PyAirbyte2, give it a name. Important thing, we're gonna come back to this ID in a minute. You're gonna need that with inside your application, but not yet. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all of the files that I saved before. So in particular, if I go to my desktop here and I grab my docs, these are the, the documentation that I saved already. I'm gonna add these guys inside here. I'm just gonna attach these guys here and you'll see it'll run in the background very, very quickly uploads it and creates the embeddings for me. I'm gonna use this for Gemini to do the embedded search later on when I create my MCP server. But before I do that, one of the really important things you wanna do is make sure that your MCP server knows about all the connectors that are available with inside Airbyte. And we maintain all of these in a connector registry. So you'll see here, there's a ton of sources, a ton of destinations, over 500 at the moment and growing all the time. We want our MCP server to know about these. The problem is this format isn't really great for an LLM to interrogate. So this is where I can actually start to use that vector store to create LLM ready documentation. I already did it with those kind of text files and the HTML pages. In this instance, I wanna make it a little bit differently. So I'm gonna jump into Gemini. And what I'm gonna do is down the bottom here, I've added a prompt that says, create an LLM friendly version of my page. Just list source and destination connector names exactly how I refer to them in Airbyte. Put them in one combined JSON file that also configures destination details for them, giving the option to export the, the full data set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up with a JSON file. Once I take this URL, I'm gonna end up with this JSON file and that is what I'm actually gonna put into my vector store. So I can hit and run that, give it a few minutes and it will go ahead and create it. Now I've already created one already to save some time. Let's go back to my storage and I'm gonna add it right here. So here's my connector catalog. You can see very quickly here, roughly what it looks like. And I'm gonna add that inside there and attach. So now I have everything that my model and my MCP needs to know about creating best practices by application. Now this is really important. Adding these into a vector store allows me to use Gemini, but use that as the context where I'm actually creating my code. Now what I wanna do is add different context 
for Gemini to know how to create the MCP server in the way that I want it to. And in particular, how to create it based on the MCP protocol and how to use the OpenAI APIs that I need for that vector search. So what I'm gonna do is a very similar process as I did last time. I'm gonna create text files and add it to a prompt. So one of the things that I need is obviously the MCP protocols, Python SDK. I can copy and paste this just as I would before, save that as a text file. I also want to implement this inside cursor. So I'm going to copy and paste the cursor documentation on what is actually needed. One thing worth noting is you want to make sure when you're copying and pasting these, you select the language that is interest to you. So the context and the prompt knows exactly what they want. In for instance, mine, I want to use Python. So this is perfect for me. On the open AI side, there's a few things that I want to be able to do. I want to search that vector store. So I'm using the file search API here. I'm going to copy and paste these entire text file as well. And I also want to use text generation and prompting APIs that are provided as well. I want to use this because this is going to be important for when I'm creating the actual Pi Airbyte application as well. It needs to perform and act like a bot and take my prompts and my inputs to create the pipelines based on source and destinations. Now, once I have all of that, I can jump back into Gemini and I've gone ahead and I've created a prompt here that says create a cursor MCP server, which provides step-by-step -step instructions and code implementation, which uses Airbyte to create source streams and destinations. Importantly, I've told the prompt to say include instructions on how to create the streams and write to destination because I want to create and configure this. Then I've provided a few specific implementation details here. In particular, I want to use UV for a virtual environment. You might like PIP or something else. I like UV. I want to use the official MCP server and I want to use the docs and step-by-step -step instructions and then obviously use Pi Airbyte. Now the trick here is I need to actually upload the files and the context that I'm working with. So just like we did before into the vector store, and remember the vector store is where this MCP server is going to interrogate to take my prompts on what pipeline I want. In this instance, I'm creating the MCP server, so I don't have a vector store. So what I want to be able to do is I want to update all of the documentation that I had before. And this is a really important step when you're creating good quality prompts. It can't always search the internet to find the right information you want. So it's much better to give it all of that specific information. So I'm going to add my catalog before, not that I need it too much in this instance, but I'd like to add it there anyway. And most importantly, the MCP server docs that we just went through. Cursor, MCP, OpenAI docs, add all of those inside there. And one of the great things that I've found with Gemini 2.5 is it's an amazing reasoning model. So if you think about our use case, not only am I creating this MCP server, which is pretty easy for Gemini to create, but it also needs the reasoning to understand the prompt that I'm going to give it to create those pipelines as code with Airbyte. So I can kick off and run this, and off it will go and start the process. So I've kicked off and started to run this, and it's gonna take a little bit of time to go through the process. If you wanna see what it's doing, you can expand the information, and look at everything that is happening. This is gonna take a little bit to run, so we can check back in on this one in just a minute. Okay, Gemini is completed in 35 seconds. It's gone through and created, as I asked it, an instruction on everything to do. I can follow these, copy and paste inside my code in my terminal using OpenAI. So in particular here, we've already done this, so we don't need it in code, but it's telling us how to add the files to the vector store which we've already done. We could have done it by code, but we did it through the browser. Finally, we need to make sure when we get to this point, we add our vector store ID in an environment file. And then the final step, which is the MCP server code, which is actually going to obviously create the server itself. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, the last thing that we need should be information on how to create an MCP JSON file for cursor. So we have all the files we need. We have to follow these steps. I'll fast forward through these, and then we'll have a look at what that looks like inside Cursor. To save some time, I've gone ahead and followed the instructions that Gemini provided to create a project for my MCP server right with inside Cursor. So you'll see a few things here. I'm using UV for the virtual environment that I mentioned before. You'll see our docs and everything 
that we imported before. They're just in my project to make it easy for me. You don't need them for the MCP server at this point because it's already been generated. But the two important things you need to do to conform to the MCP protocol for cursor, you need to put things inside a tools directory. And in this instance, what I've done is I've put that JSON catalog and this is the registry of all the Airbyte connectors. So for instance, if I'm looking at Postgres, it knows that I need these configuration parameters, a host, a port, database, username, and password. This is really the power of Airbyte and Pi Airbyte is you can take advantage of this entire registry to create any of those connectors for you with code. And you'll see with using MCP without even writing a line of code yourself. Our MCP server implementation itself is pretty straightforward. You'll see I'm creating using fast MCP, which is what I told the uh, Gemini to generate for me. I'm also going to use OpenAI, as I mentioned before, using my vector store ID, which is coming out of the environment variable in the environment file. And I'm going to use that to query the vector store so I can do a file search. And that file search, remember, is where I'm getting the context on to know how to create a good best practice Pi Airbyte application. Now, some of the other logic inside here is it needs to get all of the connector information that I mentioned before. And I'll skip through a bunch of the other things, but in particular, with inside my MCP server, I'm using the chat completions API from OpenAI to change my prompt that I provide with inside cursor and the MCP to figure out how to go create that pipeline as code for me. The rest of it is implementation details, so I won't go through it here. You can have a look inside the GitHub repo for yourself. What is important is our Gemini also created an MCP server configuration for me. So I've gone in and told it I'm using UV to run it, and I can run using this file as well. So one of the things that I always like to do is I'm going to start my environment inside here. Now, in order to have it show up and working with inside cursor, it's very easy. You can just go straight into settings, MCP, and you'll see mine is already recognized because it's inside my application here. Sometimes when you need to add it the first time, good idea is just to refresh it, make sure it's fine. Where it says client closed, this is fine. My server is not running at the moment. When I when cursor actually hears or interprets a request for this server, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, it will execute this UV run command, spin it up and run it. Now, all of this is running locally, obviously. If I wanted a global MCP server, I could click add a global MCP server here and add it itself. Now that can obviously live inside the cloud. In my example, local is fine. So once we have all of that information, we are pretty well set to go. Now, a typical example is I wouldn't be running my pipeline generation with inside the same project as my MCP, but for this example, it's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and create a new context here. And let's say I wanna use PyAirbyte MCP server to create a pipeline from Postgres to Snowflake. And you'll notice here this agent this agent now shows up that it knows I have agents in that MCP server running with inside my context. All I need to do now is hit send. It's going to go figure out exactly what it needs to do. It say, finds the MCP server, figures out looking at the catalog exactly what is needed to create the source to destination based on that prompt I provide. Yes, let me go ahead and run that one. MCP server is starting for the first time because it's running locally here. So this is where it's using that UV command to actually execute it and run. In a minute or so, that'll pop up. Let's add it to the terminal so we can see what's going on. It's gone ahead and created all of this information for me. It knows it needs the source and destination for Postgres. Snowflake destination here. Everything looks pretty good. I'm going to tell it, yes, generate the code. And just like that, it's going to create the entire pipeline for me without writing a single line of code. Let's have a look at that implementation itself. I'm going to accept this file. Let's finish the editing. Now you'll see here, my entire code is created, my requirements is created. I know I have a source for Postgres, 
add a source for or a destination for Snowflake. It's going to look inside that .env file for all the configurations, and it's going, going to go ahead and create the entire pipeline for you. At that point, you can use it in a data frame, you can use it inside your applications, anything that you like. Inside my environment file, you'll see this is where I have my vector store that we used before. You would have your open API key here, and here is the additions based on what I just asked for my MCP server and my prompt to do it. So that's it. Within about five minutes or so, we've created an entire MCP server that uses Google Gemini to generate the server itself. And then it's using OpenAI's vector store, file search, and the prompting and check completion APIs to understand the prompts that I provided to create any type of data pipeline backed by Pi Airbyte and the Airbyte connector catalog. This is really amazing because all of a sudden I haven't had to create any piece of integration code or in integration logic. I've just had my MCP server to create it for me and I can just go ahead and create any prompt and it will do the same thing for me as well for whatever source or destination out of the 500 plus that are provided by Airbyte. MCP servers are a real game changer for developers and this shows you how to use Pi Airbyte to create pipelines as code without writing a single line of code.